This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required to create this logo reveal. You can download them from below link in the description. Complete After Effects template is also available on my web store. Link is provided in the description. Now let's create our main composition. Name it as Logo Animation. For this composition, I will set time duration to 9 seconds, remaining everything will be same. Now let's create a new solid layer, this will be our background layer. For this solid layer, in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp, add it to the solid layer. Here you can set the background color of your choice. Set the start and end color. Set ramp shape to, radial ramp, now adjust the start and end position of the ramp as shown. Set ramp scatter value to, 500. Set blend with original to, 50%. Perfect, here our background layer is ready, now let's create some smoke. Create a new solid layer, name it as smoke. For this smoke layer, in effects and preset, search for turbulent noise, add it to the smoke layer for turbulent noise, change contrast to, 65, change brightness to, minus 45. Now make sure you are at start, now create keyframe for evolution, now go at end of the timer line, change evolution to, 1, and 270 degrees. You can see the preview. Let's change the blending mode to, add. For this smoke layer, change mode to, add. Now for this smoke layer, let's set the opacity to, 25%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add the reflection media file to the timer line. Let's scale it to, 50%. For this reflection media files, in effects and preset, search for motion tile, add it to the reflection layer. Set output width to, 400. Output height to, 200. Or you can increase it till it covers the complete screen. Now at start of the timer line, create keyframe for tile center. Now at end of the timer line, Change Tile Center as shown. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose this layer. Name it as Reflection. Select Move All Attributes into New Composition. Perfect. Now we need to add our logo to the timer line. Here you can scale your logo, here I will scale my logo. Now pre-compose the logo layer. Name it as logo. Perfect, now for reflection composition. Change track matte to alpha matte logo. 
Now for reflection composition, in effects and preset, search for CC Blobble Eyes. Add it to the reflection composition. Now for Blobble Eyes, change Blob Layer to, Logo. Change Property to, Alpha. Change Softness to, 6, Change Cutaway to, 0. Now in effects and preset, search for Tritone, add it to the reflection composition. Now set the midtone color to get the golden logo. Here you can see the blocked output over the logo. We need to make it blur, to do that, for this reflection layer, in effects and preset, search for fast box blur. Add it to the reflection layer, for box blur, set iteration to, 1. Now increase the blur radius value, set it to near about 45 to 50. Now you can see the preview. Perfect. Now for this logo composition, in effects and preset, search for CC radial blur. Add it to the logo composition, for blur, change type to, center zoom. Now at near about 4 seconds and 10 frames. Create keyframe for amount. Set amount to, 250. Now go 10 frames forward, that is at, 4 seconds and 20 frames. Change amount to, 0. You can see the preview. Now for this logo composition, in effects and preset. Search for fast box blur. Add it to the logo composition. For box blur, set iteration to, 1. Set blur radius to, 2. Now press T to bring up the opacity, at 4 seconds and 10 frames. Create keyframe for opacity, now come back 5 frames. Change opacity to, 0%. Here you can see the preview. Here you can create all the keyframes at start of the timeline and then place composition at particular time frame. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this logo composition. Perfect. Now for this logo composition, change mode to, soft light. Now again create duplicate of the logo composition. For this duplicate change mode to, add for this logo composition. In effects and preset. Search for CC light sweep, add it to the logo composition. Now at near about 4 seconds and 15 frames. Create keyframe for center. Adjust the center position as shown. Now go at 8 seconds and 15 frames. Change center position as shown. You can see the light sweep effect. Now for light sweep, change shape to, smooth. Change width to, 40. Change sweep intensity to, 50. Change light reception to, composite. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now from the project panel, let's add the logo composition to the timeline. For this logo composition, let's auto trace our logo, go to layer, select auto trace. Here you can see the mask for the logo. Hit OK. Now go to effects, from video copilot, select Seba, if you can't see this video copilot, then you need to install the Saba plugin. It's available for free. The link is provided in the description section. Hide the masks. Let's change the preset to Arc Reactor. In Customize Core. Change Core Type to Layer Mask. Here you can set the color of your choice for the Saba effect. Now at 5 seconds, let's create keyframe for glow intensity. Change intensity to, 
Now at 7 seconds. Change intensity to 0%. Now at 5 seconds, create keyframe for core size. Now at 7 seconds. Change core size to 0. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now at start of the timer line, create keyframe for start offset and end offset. Change end offset to 0%. For this logo composition, press U to view created keyframes. Now go at 5 seconds. Change start offset to 100%. Change end offset to 35%. Now at 7 seconds. Change start offset to 65%. End offset to 95%. You can see the preview. Now select the offset keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Here if you want, you are free to adjust the speed graph. To increase or decrease the speed of the Saber effect. Now for this Seba. In render setting, let's change the composite setting to transparent. You can see the preview. Now let's again add the Seba effect. Change preset to fire. In customized core, change core type to, layer mask. Now at 5 seconds. Create keyframe for glow intensity. Now at near about 8 seconds and 15 frames. Change glow intensity to, 0%. Now at 5 seconds. Create keyframe for core size. Now go to 8 seconds and 15 frames. Change core size to 0. You can see the preview. Now at start of the timeline. Create keyframe for start offset and end offset. Set end offset to 0%. Now at 5 seconds. Change start offset to 80%. Change end offset to 75%. You can see the preview. Now go to 8 seconds and 15 frames. Change start offset to 0%. End offset to 20%. You can see the preview. Press U to view created keyframes. Select the offset keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Here you are free to adjust the speed graph. For second Seba, in render settings, change composite setting to add. Now you can see the preview. for this logo composition. In effects and preset, search for sharpen. Add sharpen to logo composition. Set sharpen amount to 100. 
perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset. Search for wave warp, add it to the adjustment layer. For wave warp, change wave type to, noise. Change wave height to, 20. Change wave width to, 100. Change direction to, 0. Change wave speed to, 0. Now for this adjustment layer, let's create opacity keyframes, press T to bring up opacity. Now at near about 8 frames. Create keyframe for opacity, change opacity to, 0%. Now move one frame forward, change opacity to, 100%. Now move two frame forward, change opacity to, 0%. You can see the effect. Let's copy these keyframes. Now let's paste them at random distance to get glitchy effect. You can see the preview. Now let's change smoke layer and all the compositions to 3D. Now create a new camera. Now create null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null press P to bring up position. Now at end of the timeline, create keyframe for position. Now at start, change the Z position value as shown. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as Fade. Make sure fill color is set to black. Now press T to bring up opacity, at start create keyframe for opacity, now at 1 second. Change opacity to, 0%, now at 8 seconds. Create keyframe for opacity. Now at end of the timeline, change opacity to, 100%. Perfect. Now let's add the cinematic frame, create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Make sure fill color is set to black. Now double click on this rectangle to create mask. For frame. For mask 1. Let's change the shape, set unit to, percent of source. Set top to, 10%, bottom to, 90%. Now select inverted. Perfect. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our electric logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.